And as we know, nobody can integrate time exactly. So from your project, if you used OD45, I know some people see weird oscillations that can be reduced if you set the tolerance of OD45 to smaller, right? So that's because OD45 also don't know how to integrate things exactly. But if now we don't know how to integrate things exactly, we may not have a stable solution, even with that good numerical scheme. Yes, question? Uh, to take a Fourier transform, does the system have to be stable in the first place? The answer is no. Because we are only taking Fourier transform to the function, to the solution at a particular time. So if you draw y-axis as time, x-axis as space, we are only doing Fourier series to every horizontal slice of the solution. And stability means as you go up in the time domain, does things blow up or does things not blow up? So the Fourier series and the stability is, is, is analyzed on two different axes. They are, they commute, they don't interfere with each other. All right. So yes, if I'm taking Fourier series on T, then I do have to make sure it is stable. That's a good question. Any other questions? All right. Space-time discretization. So that's what we said. Now if we further discretize the differential equation in, space, uh, in time, then what we have is the system is no longer stable, always. So how many people know stability analysis of OD solvers? Like forward Euler? is stable if anybody can answer the question forward Euler is basically solving a differential equation let's say x at uh, k plus 1 minus xk divided by delta uh, delta t no delta x let's say equal to lambda xk right so that's for solving a scalar ODE it is stable if what Delta T is less than something, right? Let's let's look at this equation. All right. So so the way to analyze stability of a ODE solver, a explicit ODE solver, is doing this: is moving all the known. So so let's imagine we are solving this at time step k. What are the known numbers? What are the unknown numbers? xk is known, x a k plus 1 is unknown, right? We solve for xk plus 1 and then k plus 1 becomes my k and we go forward to solve for k plus 2. So I'm going to use red to specify the unknown and blue to specify the known. So the way to analyze the stability is move all the unknowns to the left hand side and move all the known to the right hand side. So xk over delta g is moved to here, bless you, and uh, lambda xk is over here, which is combined into 1 over delta t plus lambda times xk. And imagine, uh, and also multiply the delta t on both sides. So we get xk plus 1 is equal to 1 plus delta t lambda times xk. And you can do this exercise for all kinds of ODE solvers, including the schemes used in ODE45. I mean, ODE45 uses two schemes, a fourth order scheme and a fifth order scheme. That's why it is called 4-5. And it adapts its time step by comparing the error, the difference between the fourth order scheme and the fifth order scheme. If they agree pretty well, it thinks the solution is accurate enough and keeps going. Otherwise, it tries to reduce delta t to make it better. So, so you can do the same thing for there, just to move all the unknowns to the left hand side, move all the knowns to the right hand side. And remember here, lambda can be complex. So for what values of lambda delta t would this equation be stable? 
if I draw a complex plane for delta t lambda. So this is the real part. This is imaginary part delta t lambda. Uh, which part of the complex domain is this iteration stable, meaning not going to infinity? Right part. Huh? Right part of the domain. Right part of the domain. So if my lambda delta t is, for example, one, is the iteration going to be stable? If lambda delta is equal to 1, 1 plus 1 is going to be 2. That means xk plus 1 is equal to 2 xk. Is that stable? No. Right? If you multiply by 2, I get a thousand times after 8. After 10 iterations, I get a million after 20 iterations. I get a trillion after 30 iterations. Okay, it goes to infinity pretty fast. Yes? Within the circle of unity one, like this. Now imagine if I draw a point here, equal delta t lambda equal to half. One plus delta t lambda is equal to two third. No, uh, three, like one point five. I get x k plus one equal to one point five times x k. Is that stable? No, not again. Yes. A circle of radius 1 and dot point 0.81? About negative 1. So your answer is negative 1. I draw a circle like that. That's the right answer. Because if delta t lambda is within the, this circle, then 1 plus delta t lambda is going to be in this dotted, like in this dashed circle, right? And the dashed circle has a modulus less than 1. And the modulus less than 1 is what we need for this iteration to be stable, to not grow. The magnitude of x k, k plus 1 is equal to the modulus of this complex number times the magnitude of x k. So you need something that is less than unity for the iteration to be stable. All right, so that's for this scalar equation.